Hi there, crypto fans and remote viewing fans. Dick Allgaier here. It's another gorgeous day on Maui. We just proved that remote viewing is true. We just proved that psychic functioning and psychic awareness is possible even without training. We held a contest titled Think Inside the Box. I put an object inside this box and I put a lock on it and the goal was to get the numbers of the lock and describe what's in the box. And today I'm going to open the box and show it to you and I'm going to show you the winning submissions. Some of you did an excellent job. For chain of custody, I put this object in the box. I didn't tell anyone except one person who was our control person in Florida. That person knew what was in the box, didn't share with anyone. So this was done with good chain of custody. We got entries from all over the world and uh, I'm, I'm thrilled with the results and I think you're gonna like it too. So let's open the box and see what's inside and let's see the winning submissions. Okay, let's look at the top entries. We start with Dietmar who says, Dietmar used intuition, no formal remote viewing training, but Dietmar draws an animal with a smiley face, arms in the air, with two large ears. So that's Dietmar's submission. Next we go to Elisar, who used uh, what is described as a form of lazy remote viewing right to the source. Well, Elisar is giving us an animal which uh, is described as a figurine and you'll note that in this picture it looks like a drum. You would AOL a drum, but if we take it down to a basic gestaltic level, analytically we would say that uh, there is an object in front of the figurine that has a repeating pattern on it. All right? So our next entry comes from Zach, which is, he AOL's a teddy bear, but if we look at it just gestaltically, uh, and again, Zach says he used intuition. He says, I don't know what I was tapping into, but I'm giving you what I got when I sat down and concentrated on the box. So Zach got his mind right and drew an animal with two ears and note there is something around the neck. He draws it as a bow tie, but some uh, neck ornament. All right, so the overlapping gestalts here are an animal, particularly an animal with two large ears, uh, arms doing something. Notice that Zach's arms are going from right to left on the animal on screen, you're seeing it left to right, but note the, the positioning of the two arms. All right, so there we have Dietmar, Elisar, and Zach. Sasha is a trained remote viewer and a very good one. She is uh, part of our Hawaii remote viewing training group. And sometimes women get words and emotions and concepts more than visuals. Sasha says, this feels Asian. It's related to good fortune, wealth, and luck. And she gives us colors of jade green, Chinese red, gold, and black, but only a little bit of black. And she also draws two sort of amulets. Uh, if you look at this first one on the left, that would be the thing around the neck on the object. And then she has Asian writing which I'm telling you is some uh, Japanese, I think it's kanji script. So those are the top entries. Uh, and taking, boiling it down to basic analysis is a figurine or animal with two ears, two arms, in front of some object with a repeating, repeating uh, pattern and then an amulet and some type of Asian writing that is a figurine and it's related to an Asian good fortune, wealth and luck symbol. The big reveal, let's open the lock, all right? The first number is 38, 38. The second number is 28. 
And the final number is 14. 38, 28, 14 opens the lock. And we are looking for something that is an animal. An animal with, I can't get this open, okay, come on. An animal with big ears, some type of necklace on it, some type of plaque or symbol with Asian writing that represents an Asian good luck or money charm. And here it is. It is a Japanese good luck cat. And we wanted the colors to be gold, red, green, and black. So the object is a Maneki Neko, a Japanese good luck cat, and here we see the sketches and descriptions compared to the object. So you see Dietmar, very good. Zach, excellent. I really like the uh, neck thing that you drew. Uh, you had a bit of analytical overlay, which wasn't quite correct naming it, but in terms of visually and, and the gestalt of the thing. Very good. Notice the arms. One arm in the right position, the other arm is up. Excellent work, Zach, using just intuition. LSR named it as a figurine, and you can see it's holding with one hand the object that LSR thought was a drum, but uh, visually has the repeating pattern. And Sasha actually named in the target queue, it said Maneki Neko, Japanese good luck cat, and she said feels Asian related to good fortune with wealth and luck. Excellent work. As for the numbers, no one got them exactly, but Sasha, using HRVG advanced methodology and advanced technique of direction finding called S7 Annex A, did something remarkable out of all the combinations possible, she created intuitively directional ideograms pointing to the position of the numbers on the lock. So this was a great success. People from around the world with no clues, no hints, no front loading, used both remote viewing and just native human intuition to displace a portion of their awareness across time and space and describe what was in the box. Human beings come stock off the shelf with a consciousness that is much more robust and more amazing than most people will ever realize. If this type of thing interests you, we invite you to join our Patreon site at patreon.com slash crypto viewing. Patreon.com slash crypto viewing. So we're going to split the winnings with those four people. We will be getting their cryptocurrency wallet addresses and giving them the cash prize. Congratulations to all the winners. Human awareness, human consciousness is so much more amazing than most people ever dream of or imagine. Great job, folks. We're going to hold another contest soon. Aloha. Mm -hmm.